Hey guys, what's going on? So Steve and I are getting ready to change the front brake caliper in my 2008 uh, Jeep JK. And we noticed the, the piston inside was bad. It has a hunk taken out of it. Previous owner must have collapsed it wrong and uh, damaged it. So we're going to show you how to fix yours if yours is going bad. All right, so we got our 2008 Jeep Wrangler here. We're going to replace the front caliper on it. And we'll show you there's a chunk taken out of the piston that's cracked almost right to the boot and it's a concern. So whenever you do brakes and you remove the calipers, you want to inspect all your pistons to make sure that there's no cracks in the piston. So we're just going to pinch off our hydraulic line right here with some vice grips. I got a 15 millimeter wrench on the back side here for the line. I'm going to crack that loose and take this off. We have a 13 millimeter for the caliper pistons and the bolt for the brackets are 21 millimeters. So we're gonna remove this. We shouldn't really lose any fluid. Not a lot anyways. So it's gonna drain out of the caliper for now. And our brake pads are new, so we're reusing them on the new one. So That's how we noticed the damage piston yeah. in the first place, right, Steve? Yeah. So we'll slip this off and we'll get it over to the bench and get the um, the brake pads transferred over to the new caliper. We'll take the two twenty-one millimeters off, and we had just put a couple of flex lines on this, but we never took the caliper on a few months ago. And if you look at the caliper, you know we have a piece taken out over here and it's cracked right to the boot. This could be cracked on the inside that you can't see and this could leak fluid at some point. So um, this is a safety issue. We're not going to take a chance with it. So we're going to put a new one on. All right. So we're just taking off the two caliper bolts on um, bracket bolts, I should say. Now we got the brake pads still in the caliper. We're gonna take these over and transfer them over. The new caliper came with the new bracket and new clips. So we're gonna transfer the brake pads over to the new one and then now um, start reassembling. All right, so we're gonna get the bracket off, the caliper off from the new bracket. And of course the 14s are so tight you have to impact them. And then, uh, it's a 15 to hold the caliper pin. Over here. And we're going to transfer our clips on. They gave us new clips. And the new bolts for the caliper pins are larger than the other ones. The originals were 13s, the new ones are 14s. I'm going to take these clips, slide the brake pads off. Yeah. This is the inside, this is the inside one here. Yeah. And if you look at the original clips, they have a little high spot, a low spot. And the high spot's gonna go on the inside like this. So this would set in like this with the little end right here. So we're gonna line these up. Sometimes you can push the clip over and get it to clip down in place. That one went right in nice. You wanna get your high spot in the right spot. There are different clips here, so. This is the one for this one here. Now, when the, this is kind of rusty and crappy, you have to clean all this up to get this to go. So, um, this one's going right on fairly nice. <clears throat> and go on the inside. That one goes here. Last one to go in. Boy, these clip on a lot easier than when you, uh, you have to clean this all up, I'll tell you that. So, 
All right, so we're going to put some brake caliper pin lube on the tracks here where the brake pads slide. Okay, now these caliper pins come pre lubed, but we like to make sure they have plenty on them. So pull this out. A little extra on here. This is the same procedure when you're going to be doing your brakes. You're going to be pulling the caliper pin loop, uh, caliper pins out, lubing them all up. Make sure everything's lubed good. slide these brake pads in. The one with the wear marker goes on the inside here and these things can sometimes be a pain in the ass to get in. You can't roll this brake pad in like you can on the other with the other one because of the clip here. Usually I like to try and put them in sideways and then roll them and you can't really do that with these because of the clip. So you try and line it up and we have a little hammer here yesterday. Let's try and knock this down a little bit. Uh, watch out that it doesn't knock the clip off. Okay, we get that one in. We got our sandpaper. Make sure we can get our paw prints off this thing. Okay, let's get the other pad on here. Now this is the one I was saying that you can you can ride this pad in and then give it a little twist on the side like this. These normally go in a little bit easier, like that. Okay, so we're gonna bring this over and, oh, you sucker. Mm. And we're gonna bring this over and set this onto the Jeep again. And then we'll squeeze the pads down. All right, let's go throw this on. <clears throat> Just rest it on. Squeeze the pads. Tighten these up. You got them all never seized because we just had them off. And that's when we found, we thought we were just going to do pads and rotors on it. And then we found the caliper was damaged. So So we're going to get the impact gun and tighten these up again. All right, I'm squeezing the pads so they don't vibrate and fall off when I hit this. Okay, I'll go grab the new caliper. All right, we got a new caliper. We put some lube around the boot to keep it moist and just a little on each side of the pad over here. And we can slide this into place. Get our caliper pin bolts back in, which are now 14s, which used to be 13s. Grab a 15 to hold that. Plus it's trying to tighten right onto my wrench. All right, I got that one tight. Cool. 
Rich is just a little too fat, I guess, huh? Okay, so now we can take our line and we got two new washes with this and a new bolt to put this on. I suggest you use the new bolt because sometimes they, when these are reman, they re-tap them out and um, you should use the new bolt. So we take the old original one off, the washer just fell, we don't really care. And it goes on like that. So you're putting the two new washes on, right? Yep, they came with two new washes with it, putting those on. And you don't hammer this thing down too tight. Now this bolt is different size than the other one. It's a little smaller. We're gonna have to go get a wrench for this. I'll let you know what size this one is. The original one was a 15. We got the washer on each side. Looks like a 10 or 11. So it's an 11. We're gonna tighten this down. We wanted to make sure it sits in square into the pocket. It's gonna fit into this pocket over here. So we get that square. And you're just gonna snug this down. You're not gonna kill this thing, okay? It's gonna snug it down, take the line off, I mean the pliers off, and we're gonna bleed this thing now. And 10 millimeter, and we've showed you videos on how to bleed the brakes before. We're gonna pump it up and bleed this caliper probably two, three times. We'll get all the air out of it. And this will be the same procedure on the other side. When you're done, check your brake fluid level, and that's all there is to it.